One of my favorite quotes is, there's no such thing as losses, only learning experiences. Now, I want you to imagine for just one second, what would your life be like if you lived by that philosophy? Because that's exactly what we're gonna be looking at when we see what we can learn from Jaclyn Hill not giving up. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and sometimes what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what we can learn from people's mistakes as well as their successes. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And real quick for all of you loyal Rewired Soldiers out there who are in the Shane Dawson and palette giveaway that is happening tomorrow. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because today I might be announcing one last way to get an entry into the Shane Dawson giveaway. All right, an extra entry. Okay, so make sure that you stay tuned. All right, so let's jump into this thing. So the other day, the other day when uh, Disney Plus launched, I came across this really badass tweet, all right? And it said, Disney released a major streaming service playing more errors than content and we're all still here. Launch that imperfect thing you've been sitting on for months, sis. And I was like, dang. So anyways, I was uh, getting the idea for this video when talking to one of my subscribers um, over on Instagram in DMs. Uh, after I shared that, they're like, I feel I feel personally attacked by this. And I'm like, what, what's going on? And uh, yeah, she's been sitting on a couple projects that she's worried about, you know, releasing because, you know, whenever we're releasing anything, and trust me, I get it. I Every time I release a video, every time I release one of my books and everything, there's like a fear, right? That's holding us back. And looking at something like this, like this is a prime example of why we push through that fear and we release it anyways, right? Like we have this issue and it's actually a cognitive distortion called catastrophizing, right? Like if people don't like this thing, the world is gonna come to an end. And that my friends is why we're in therapy to work on these cognitive distortions, all right? But anyways, when I was talking to this subscriber, it was right when Jaclyn Hill was launching her new highlighters and everything. And this was a prime example. So those of you who don't know about Jaclyn Hill's 2019, um, she released some lipsticks earlier this year and they had some issues, all right? So from the lab, uh, you know, that they came from, they had things like hairs in them. Some people were saying there was like metal in it and everything like that. And they gave everybody refunds. She lost probably massive amounts of money. And even worse than that is just the reputation factor, all right? So the other day um, on Twitter, like, you know, I saw Jacqueline was freaking out. She was giving a lot of support from her fans. And then, you know, in her IG story, she was talking about um, trying to record a video and she was just really scared and worried. And she was asking for like prayers and everything. I'm like, what is, what is happening? But anyways, she just announced that through Jacqueline Cosmetics, she's releasing her new product, right? In the same year that she had such a massive failure with the lipstick launch, okay? And like I said, like these videos, they're not for Jaclyn Hill. They're for all of you watching this, okay? So love Jaclyn Hill, hate Jaclyn Hill. Like one of the things that have has vastly improved my mental health is looking at every single situation that I come across and say, huh, what can I learn from this? And what we can learn from this with Jaclyn Hill is not giving up, all right? Like, she has a dream, she has a passion, which is makeup. And yeah, she's had some issues. But like, here's the thing, and this is what I want you to think about. Like, imagine if all of us gave up, right? Imagine if just people throughout history gave up, like nothing would have happened. Like, imagine Ford, Henry Ford, right? who made the first automobile. Imagine if he just like had a flop with his initial designers, like, oh, guess I just won't invent a car. 
You know what I mean? Look at the Wright brothers, right? You know how many like messed up flying machines those fools made before they actually figured it out? You know what I mean? Imagine if they just gave up because people were talking smack back in the day before social media was happening and newspapers were saying, <laughs> look at these idiot brothers trying to create a machine that flies, right? What if they let their fear and worrying about what other people think hold them back? You know what I'm saying? And lastly, like, and he has such an amazing quote, is Thomas Edison, okay? The inventor of the mother effing light bulb, okay? So like, he tried so many times, so many times to do this. And when he finally did it, there's this, there's this story, I'm not even sure if it's true or not, but I will remember this quote until the day I die. So some jerk reporter was like, hey, hey Thomas, how to feel to fail 1,000 times trying to create this light bulb. And he's like, I didn't fail a thousand times. He's like, I found a thousand different ways making a light bulb didn't work. Think about that for a second, right? Think about that. Like you might think about all of your awful relationships and everything like that. Like I used to be in terrible toxic relationships, but then I started looking at them. I'm just like, oh, I just found a lot of different ways that relationships or the way I pick my relationships don't work. And that is what I'm seeing with Jaclyn Hill is this opportunity. And I hope to God it inspires her. Like even if you don't like her makeup, even if you don't want anything to do with her makeup, like just look at people, look at people who are out there and not giving up. So I can definitely relate to this. Like for those of you who don't know, I had a pretty rough 2019 too. Not as rough as Jaclyn Hill, but I had a pretty rough year myself. And you know how many people I have telling me to quit like all this year? Like this one actually just came from the other day. Check this comment out. LOL, your videos are tanking. Stop YouTube and go take care of your family, you selfish cluck. What the hell? Apparently this guy didn't see the video you made last week about working two jobs while still pursuing your passion, right? Listen to Wyatt, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but like, I want you to think about it real quick. Like, imagine if I just gave up. If I just, oh, 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 this, this didn't work out. I guess I'll just, you know, give up on something I'm very passionate about, which is helping people, you know, with their mental health and addiction recovery and everything like that. But, you know, I wanna finish this video and just say like, look at these different aspects of your life. Like, maybe you're not an entrepreneur. Maybe you're not trying to start a business or a makeup line, or you're not trying to invent a car or a flying machine or a light bulb. But for example, and anybody out there who struggles with addiction, or even if you're in recovery, like I relapsed many times before I got sober seven years ago, okay? Imagine if I just gave up, right? Like I always say my secret to sobriety, the way I went from chronically relapsing to staying sober for this long, which is seven years, is I found a bunch of ways that staying sober didn't work. All right, I say my secret to sobriety is doing the exact opposite, okay? So let's think about jobs. Maybe you're struggling with finding a job and everything like that and you've been shut down on interviews or, or your applications aren't even getting looked at or whatever, right? That doesn't mean give up, just keep trying. If you've gone to interviews and you screwed them up, you've learned what potential employers wanna hear from you, okay? Maybe you're working on your mental health. Maybe you've tried therapy a few times. Maybe you've tried other methods such as journaling and meditation and everything like that. That doesn't mean give up. Maybe you just found therapists that weren't good for you and now you know what to look for in a better therapist. Maybe, uh, you know, meditation and journaling didn't work for you, but maybe more physical activity will work for you, right? We just try different things and see what we should try in the future, okay? And another big one is like I said earlier, relationships. So many of us just absolutely suck at relationships, okay? But like one of the biggest mistakes I think a lot of us make is we look at our past relationships, we say, oh, well, I can't believe I wasted so much time, so much time with that person I wasted it. No, you didn't, baby, all right? You learned a lot from that relationship. Maybe you learned different ways to not handle disagreements and arguments and fights, right? Maybe you can look back to when you first met that person. What 
What was wrong with the decision you made, right? Were there red flags that you should have noticed? Now you could take that into looking for your next relationship, right? Because there is no such thing as losses, only learning experiences, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, okay? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon or buys my books or merch, all that kind of good stuff. You're all amazing. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.